Hey guys, so um, in the last video uh, I showed you how to create this window right here um, where we have a Q H box layout uh, with a stretch on the left side, a stretch on the right side, and then the button in the middle. Um, and then the same thing for this label here. And then both of those are pushed into a uh, Q V box layout to align uh, both those two layouts uh, vertically. Um, and I also showed you how to connect uh, the button to a function so that we can uh, have this functionality where when we click the button uh, it causes the uh, label below it to change its value. In this video um, I'm planning on showing you how to create a, a menu bar um, similar to what you'll see here in Sublime Text uh, where we can add in a file, edit, whatever we want. Also, I'll show you how to uh, add in a key sequence or a keystroke so that you can have the action be associated with a certain keystroke. So let's get started. Um, I was thinking we could place the code for this inside of this init UI function, but uh, it's already getting a little bit messy, so uh, it's probably easier just to add in a separate function for it. So we can call it um, init toolbar. Uh, let's go down here and then so write that init toolbar. Pass the instance as the parameter. And in uh, PyQt, the um, way you create um, an instance of a menu is by calling the QMenu bar widget. So we'll do, we'll call it like uh, my menu equals Q menu bar, and then we pass in the instance as the parameter. Um, and then in this example, we're going to do uh, a file menu as well as an edit menu. So for the file menu, and also for both of them, we probably want to make them member variables so we can reference them um, inside functions if we want to change the name of it or something or change one of the items inside of it. So, self dot file menu, uh, and then we add this as a uh, child of uh, my menu. So we do my menu dot add menu, and then of course we want to name it file. Uh, we'll do the same thing for the edit menu. Change this over to edit. Change the name there of the variable to edit menu. And it's super simple for uh, creating actions. Um, actually, so I'll show you an example of what this looks like now. We'll basically have, or we should have two menu items. Yep. So we have file and edit. And of course, there's nothing inside of them. We haven't initialized them to contain any actions yet. Um, and so the way you would go about doing that is we can write something. So let's say we want to have a quit action and if you're uh, if you know about uh, OSX I believe in OSX the uh, standard key to exit out of a application is uh, command Q so normally in Ubuntu um, and in Linux in general I use control Q and I mean it's helpful if you have let's say uh, something running inside of your window and you're not able to actually click the, the X button or it's hidden behind something else, uh, for example. You want to be able to exit out of your application no matter what without having to use force quit. So uh, a quit item is, is always very helpful. And so we're going to be using control plus Q for that, right? And the way we'll write this out is self.file menu because we want to place it inside of the file menu. Uh, for example, I believe, probably in here, yep, in here they have the same idea, uh, quit right there, uh, equal, er, nope, sorry about that, self.file menu dot add action, and we want to name it quit, um, and here we have to provide uh, a function that will be called is whenever this action is called, so we'll skip that for now, um, but we definitely know we want to make it so it's control Q to exit out of it. So we have to provide Q key sequence 
and then control Q. And this could be any combination of keys here. Um, actually, it doesn't even have to be uppercase, but it's easier to read like that. Um, and then, so here we have to provide the function that's going to be called whenever the user does control Q. Or, alternatively, navigates over to the file menu and clicks the quit item. Um, so we can name it something like um, self.quit the app and uh, we'll make the skeleton for that function here quit the app provide just the instance there and a simple way to quit out is just doing sys.exit and we can provide uh, just a one to show that the user has exited uh, on purpose um, we'll test that out Okay, cool. So let's see, we should have quit, and then should quit out. Yep, let's just test out. So you guys won't be able to see this, but control Q. Uh, yep, so it works. And then, uh, real quick, I noticed they have these uh, bars here that separate actions. Um, and those are helpful if you wanted to eliminate certain things. Like in this case, they have new window, close window. I want to show that that's a separate idea than all these file handling actions below. Um, and so the way you do that actually is you would do self.filemenu.addSeparator and so we can throw in another action above that just to uh, ha as an example. Um, this is an action. And uh, to keep it simple we can provide our uh, button clicked uh, function as the the target function in this case so self dot button clicked and yeah, we won't provide a key sequence for this one uh, but you could if you want to the same idea as this right here and so if we run this um, the this is an action function right here should have actually the same exact action as the push me function so we can test that out yep Okay, so and then that has the same action as the push me. Um, and that's it. And this was a shorter video, but um, in the next couple of videos, I'll go more in depth in uh, more of the different types of widgets you can implement on your GUIs in PyQt4. Um, then, like I said in the last video, probably do some more things with uh, the Qthread class because that's really interesting. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video.